This is my student support system. Keep watching, keep learning. Welcome to my student support system. In today's class, we are going to discuss about nervous system. This lecture is in English and if you want to study in Hindi, just click on I button and you will get link of Hindi lecture or you can directly visit to my channel my student support system. What is nervous system? The nervous system is an intricate, highly organized network of billions of neurons and even more neuroglia. The structure that make up nervous system includes brain, cranial nerves and their branches, spinal cord, spinal nerves and their branches, ganglia, entric plexus and sensory receptors all over the body. The nervous system is a major communicating and control system within the body. It works with endocrine system to control many body functions. It is a vast topic and we will cover in multiple lectures. In today's class, we will discuss about introduction, overview and organization of nervous system with structure of neurons and nerves. Classification of nervous system. The nervous system is classified into two main groups. What are these? Central nervous system and peripheral nervous system. Central nervous system consists of brain and spinal cord and is the control and integration center for many body functions. It is central in our body in the central part of our body. So it is known as central nervous system. Second part is peripheral nervous system. The peripheral nervous system carries sensory information to the central nervous system. It mainly consists of nerves. The peripheral nervous system is further divided into somatic nervous system and autonomic nervous system, SNS and ANS. What is somatic nervous system? The somatic nervous system is under voluntary control and the effector organ are the organs which respond to the instructions from the central nervous system. Example is the skeletal muscles we can move our hand so, this is under uh, somatic nervous system control. The central nervous system's response to the sensory information may be to activate the somatic nervous system, electing a voluntary response involving skeletal muscle movement. Another part is autonomic nervous system. The autonomic nervous system is responsible for involuntary muscles, involuntary motor response, including involuntary muscles. The effector organ may be smooth muscles and cardiac muscles. Both are involuntary muscles. They are not under our control. They are under the control of autonomic nervous system or a gland. Gland is also under control of autonomic nervous system. The autonomic nervous system is further divided into sympathetic nervous system and the parasympathetic nervous system. We will discuss them in detail in another lectures. Nervous tissue. The nervous system is composed of neurons, neuroglia and nerves. So, in today's lecture, we will discuss the structure and functions of these three organs or units. 
फर्स्ट इज न्यूरो द स्ट्रक्चरल एंड फंक्शनल यूनिट ऑफ नर्वस सिस्टम इज द न्यूरोन और इट इज ऑल्सो नोन एज नर्व सेल न्यूरोन्सिस्ट ऑफ एक्जोन डेंड्राइट एंड सेल बॉडी द फंक्शन इज टू ट्रांसमिट द नर्व इम्पल्स नर्व इम्पल्स ओनली ट्रेवल इन वन डायरेक्शन इन द न्यूरोन फ्रॉम द रिसेप्टिव एरिया इन द डेंड्राइट देन टू सेल बॉडी एंड देन टू द एक्जोन सेल बॉडी द नर्व सेल वेरी कंसिडरेबली इन द साइज एंड शेप बट दे आर टू स्मॉल टू बी सीन बाय नेकेड आईज सेल बॉडीज फॉर्म द ग्रे मेटर ऑफ द नर्वस सिस्टम एंड आर फाउंड इन द पेरीफ्री ऑफ ब्रेन एंड सेंट्रल इन द स्पाइनल कोड सो दिस इज द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ न्यूरोन here one part is cell body so this is cell body this is exon and these are dendrites exon and dendrites are extensions of cell body and form the white matter of nervous system what is gray matter and white matter these are will be discussed in the next lecture in detail you should keep in your mind that cell body forms gray matter and the exons and dendrites they form white matter exons are found deep in the brain and in groups are called tracts not all exons some exons are there and they are known as tracts and at the periphery of spinal cord each neuron has only one exon that conduct information away from the cell body and dendrites carry nerve impulse towards the cell body means they are receive the information and exons pass the information exons are longer than the dendrites and sometimes as long as 100 cm large exons are surrounded by myelin sheath this consists of a series of swarm cells arranged along the length of the exon each one is wrapped around the exon so that it is covered by a number of concentric layers of swarm cell plasma membrane between the layers of plasma membrane there is a small amount of fatty substance known as myelin the outermost layer of swan cell plasma membrane is known as neurilemma there are tiny areas exposed exolemma between adjacent swan cells known as nodes of renvier so these are swan cells and this is exposed area of exon this is known as node of renvier which assist the rapid transmission of nerve impulse in myelinated neurons uh, so this myelinated neuron and non myelinated neurons are there in our brain or all over the uh, nervous system so the exon of nervous system uh, of uh, neuron which contains the myelin they are known as myelinated neurons and which do not contain the myelin sheath they are known as non myelinated neurons now classification of neurons neurons are of different types and there are two types of classifications one is structural classification and one is functional classification in structural classification we classify neurons as multipolar neuron bipolar neuron and unipolar neuron and in the functional classification we classify neuron as sensory neuron motor neuron and interneuron so what are these we will discuss them one by one now first is multipolar neuron under structural classification of neurons multipolar neuron usually have 
several dendrites and one exon. Most neurons in the brain and spinal cord are of this type. So here dendrites, many dendrites and one exon. So this is multipolar neuron. Bipolar neuron. They have one main dendrite here, then cell body and then exon. So this is bipolar. They are found in the retina of eye, in the middle ear and in the olfactory area of the brain. Unipolar neuron. They have dendrite and one exon that are fused together to form a continuous process that emerges from the cell body. This is known as unipolar neuron. Under functional classification, neurons are classified as number one, sensory neuron. Sensory neuron or afferent neuron means incoming neuron. They carry impulse from receptors which are situated all over the body to the central nervous system. The sensory neurons from the receptors in skin, skeletal muscles and joints are called as somatic sensory neurons and those from the receptors in internal organs, they are called visceral sensory neurons. Second is motor neuron. Motor neurons or efferent neurons means outgoing neuron. They carry impulse from central nervous system to the effector organs means where it will work. The two types of effectors are muscles and glands. In response to impulse, muscles contract or relax and glands secrete the juices or uh, hormones. Third is interneuron. Interneurons or association neuron are mainly located within the central nervous system between sensory and motor neurons. Interneurons integrate or process the incoming sensory information from the sensory neurons and then elect a motor response by activating the appropriate motor neuron. Most interneurons are multipolar in structure. Next structure of nervous system is neuroglia. <coughs> neuroglia, these are special cells. They make up about half of the volume of central nervous system. Their name derives from the idea of early histologists that they are the they were the glues that held the nervous system together. Neuroglia are not merely passive bystanders, but rather actively participate in activities of nervous system. There are six types of neuroglias. Out of these, four neuroglias are there are astrocytes, oligodendrocytes, microglias, and ependymal cells are found only in central nervous system. The remaining two types, these are Schwann cells and satellite cells, they are present in peripheral nervous system. First is astrocyte. These are star-shaped cells, have many processes and are the largest and most numerous neuroglias in the central nervous system. Astrocytes help in forming blood-brain barrier and supports the neuron. There are two types of astrocytes in our body, protoplasmic astrocytes and fibrous astrocytes. Oligodendrocytes. These resemble astrocytes but are smaller and contain fewer processes. Oligodendrocytes Processes are responsible for forming and maintaining the myelin sheath around central nervous system exomes. 
microglia. These neuroglia are small cells with slender process that give off numerous spine like projections. Microglia function as phagocytes and phagocytize the microbes and damaged nervous tissue. Ependymal cells. These are cuboidal and some columnar cells arranged in a single layer. They possess microvilli and cilia. These cells line the ventricles of the brain and the canal of central uh, spinal cord, that is, spine, central canal of spinal cord. Ependymal cells produce CSF or cerebrospinal fluid. Schwann cells. These cells encircle the peripheral nervous system's axons, like oligodendrocytes in the central nervous system. <coughs> Schwann cells participate in axon regeneration, which is more easily accomplished in peripheral nervous system than in central nervous system. Satellite cells. These are flat cells and surround the cell bodies of PNS ganglia. Besides providing structural support, satellite cells regulate the exchange of material between neuronal cells, cell bodies and the interstitial fluid which surrounds them. Now we come to nerves. A nerve is a group of axons and de or dendrites. Many neurons with blood vessels and connective tissue, they come together and form a nerve. The innermost layer in the nerve is endoneurium. Endoneurium is a delicate structure which surrounds each axon in a nerve. Then there is a perineurium which is smooth connective tissue supports each bundle of fibers. A bundle contains a lot of axons. And then epineurium which covers the whole nerve. This is fibrous tissue which surrounds and encloses a number of bundles of nerve fibers. Most large nerves are covered by epineurium. It is the outermost layer of nerve. It should be clear to you that a nerve contains a lot of neuron, uh, neurons and uh, axons and nerve cells. Here you can check it that this is one axon, this is a bundle of axons and this is whole nerve which contains many bundles of nerves. <coughs> Types of nerves. Nerves may be of three types sensory nerve, motor nerve, or mixed nerve. Sensory nerve are made up of only sensory neurons, means all the neurons which make a uh, nerve are sensory. The optic nerve for vision and olfactory nerve for smell are example of nerve with a purely sensory functions. These nerves carry information from the body to spinal cord or brain. Motor nerve. Motor nerves are made up of only motor neurons. Some crani cranial nerves are motor nerves. Now mixed nerves. A mixed nerve contains both sensory and motor neurons. Most of our spinal nerves such as sciatic nerve in the leg, they are mixed nerves. Thank you student for watching this video. For more such videos, you can visit and subscribe my channel, my student support system, like my Facebook page of my student support system and for making your notes, visit blog mynursingstudents.blogspot.com You can follow for updates on Twitter, Instagram and join Facebook group Nursing Notes. Thank you. Have a nice day.